Hey, what's up guys? I just want to do a quick video on the virtual keyword. So this has a lot to do with inheritance. So going back to the inheritance hierarchy we talked about in earlier videos, we might have a student in a teacher class that inherits from user. So where does virtual come in? That's what we're going to be talking about. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So usually we're gonna put common behavior up in the user class. That way it could be an inherited from these classes down here. But occasionally we're gonna create our own implementation down in one of these derived classes. So an example might be to say hello. Maybe that's a method we created up here. Well, we're automatically going to have that method available to us on the student and the teacher, but what if we wanted to customize it for the student? Well, we could create our own hello method and we're basically overriding this method here. In order for that to happen, this needs to be a virtual method. So that's the key thing here. When we label a method as virtual, any of the derived classes can override that method. So when you see virtual, it doesn't necessarily mean it's always going to be overridden. It just means that it can be overridden. So if we're working with a teacher and we call hello, we don't have a specific version for the teacher, so it's going to go up the inheritance hierarchy and grab hello from the user level which might be more general. It might just say, hi, my name's Caleb Curry. Or as the student might say, hi, my name is Sally, and I like to study computer science. Virtual allows us to override methods. And that's the virtual keyword. Hopefully that's helpful. We're gonna get some hands-on practice with that. And we've probably seen that a little bit through the series so far. But now you should have a pretty full understanding. So I'll see you guys in the next video and be sure to subscribe.